welcome to my channel so let's start with a detailed explanation of skeletal muscle all right now before starting i clear your basics i want to clear your basics look at here we know female have egg cell and male have sperm when they both are fused this term is called fertilization fertilization then they form zygote zygote form what zygote form blastula this is the blastula and blastula form gastrula stage these are the stage of embryonic development and these gastrula make three germ layer ectoderm mesoderm and endo Dumb. All germ layers have their responsibility. Mesodermal origin. Example is muscles. Muscles are mesodermal in origin. This layer form muscles. All kind of muscles. And these starting, the starting phase of muscles in embryonic development. First of all, first of all. Myoblast, myoblast formation. Formation. What is myoblast? This is small. This is the small structure. This is the small structure of muscles. These are muscle forming cells. These are muscles forming cells. In embryo clear guys these are the muscle forming cells we call it as a myoblast this is not in your ncrt this is important you have to clear otherwise you can't understand what is muscle bundle and all this is now now multiple multiple myoblast fuse myoblast fuse and form myocytes second special cell is myocytes it means the group of these myoblast group of the myoblast these are the group of the myoblast we can called group of the myoblast is myocyte this is one myoblast this is second third fourth and fifth group of the myoblast we call it as a myo site clear guys now now we can call it as a myocytes as well as guys listen to me as well as muscles fiber muscles fiber clear guys clear group of the myoblast we can call it as a myocytes and muscle fiber covering of muscle fiber we call it as a endomycium these are the covering these are the covering these are the covering of muscle fiber we call it as a endomycium clear this is the covering of muscle fiber or myocyte clear guys now let's move further now the group of muscles group of muscle fiber fiber we call it as a now muscle fasciculus now i think this term is clear right now what is the muscle fasciculi these are the group of what muscle fiber i'm drawing here group of the muscle fiber we call it as a muscle fasciculus these are the covering of muscle fiber 
and here myoblasts are present now this is a bundle of muscle fiber and multiple muscle fiber join and produce muscle fasciculi and now these are covering of muscle fasciculus we call it as a these covering we call it as a peri mycelium clear guys very clear all right now at last group of muscle fasciculi group of muscle fasciculus we call it as a muscles simple now group of muscle fasciculi we call it as a muscle this is the group of group of fasciculi all right and this muscles is covered with covered with epimyceum now you understand what is the endomyceum you know what is the perimyceum and what is the epimyceum look at here there is a bundle of muscle fasciculi and grouply we call it as a this is the layer of covering this is the muscle covering layer we call it as a epimyceum now i hope you all are understand this then myoblast cells they aggregate and they fuse together they form myocytes and myocyte cell how they form the group of the group of myoblasts arrange in order we call it as a muscle fiber the group of the muscle fiber we call it as a muscle fasciculi the group of the muscle fasciculi we call it as a muscles and these are their covering remember these are the covering covering of myocyte we call it as a endomyceum covering of muscle fasciculi we call it as a perimyceum and covering of muscles we call it as a epimyceum that's the detail that's the detail development of skeletal muscle detail development of skeletal muscle guys if someone ask what is sarcolemma sar ko le ma and what is this this is the plasma membrane of muscle fiber clear guys this is the plasma membrane of muscle fiber this is the covering of muscle fiber this is the covering of muscle fiber and this is the plasma membrane of muscle fiber and what is sarcoplasm what is sarcoplasm simple simple cytoplasm of muscle fiber we call it as a what we call it as a sarcoplasm that's it that's all about this introduction now let's start each organized skeletal muscle in our body is made up of number of bundle sheet or fasciculus we study here multiple bundles of fasciculi okay common collagen is connective tissue layer called fascia they want to say that they have normal connective tissue they have normal collagenous connective tissues layer their layer is made up with normal connective tissue okay collagenous connective tissue each muscle bundle contain a number of muscle fiber we know this thing each muscle fasciculi contain what contain what they contain muscle fiber simple guys i am explaining here all the thing but you can relate these things that muscle bundle muscle fasciculi made up with what they contain they contain number of muscle fibers simple first thing muscle bundle group of muscle fiber okay group of muscle fiber look at here now look at here here what is sarcolemma plasma membrane of muscle fiber what is sarcoplasm the cytoplasm of the muscle fiber we call it as a sarcoplasm muscle fiber is sensitive as sarcoplasm contain many nucleus 
ऑफ कोर्स द सार्को प्लाज्मा ऑफ मसल फाइबर दे कंटेन लॉर्ड्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियाई दे कंटेन लॉर्ड्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियाई सो दिस स्टेज ऑफ सेल वी कॉल्ड इट एज अ सिन सिटियम स्टेज राइट गाइस द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ओके द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वी कॉल इट एज अ सार्को प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इन मसल सेल्स वी नो दैट मसल सेल कंटेन ई आर मसल फाइबर्स ई आर वी कॉल इट एज अ सार्को प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दिस इज द स्टोरेज ऑफ हाउस ऑफ कैल्शियम आयन दे स्टोर वॉट आई टोल्ड यू बिफोर दे स्टोर कैल्शियम दे स्टोर कैल्शियम we talk about in cell signaling next a uh, characteristic uh, feature of muscle fiber is the presence of a large number of parallelly arranged filament is sarcoplasma called myofilament or myofibril look at here i am writing here look at here what is myofibril i clear you many term okay fibrils what is myofibrils muscle fiber has many myo fibrils all right within a within a myo fibril they contain lots of myo filament filament and what is the myofilament now let's talk about what is the myofilament there are two type of there are two type of myofilaments are there actin and myosin these are thin myofilament and these are Myo filament. I'll draw for you. I'll draw for you. Assume this is the structure of muscle fiber. All right, guys. Or it is a zoom structure of myo filament. What they contain? What they contain? They have thin filament like actin. Look at here. Look at here. All right. As well as they have thick filament of myosin these are thick very thick all right i'm writing here this is a myofilament and this is the actin and this is the dark band this is the myosin actin form actin form i band and we can also called light band and myosin form dark band as well as we can call it as a a band clear guys now this is clear this paragraph is clear each myofibril has alternate dark and light band we can call it as a a band and i band a detailed study of microfibril has established that the stated appearance is due to the distribution pattern of two important protein actin and myosin we know that skeletal muscles look like this and this is the because of myofibril myofilament because of actin and myosin because they are arranged light band contain actin all right light band contain actin it is called i band or isotropic band okay another name is isotropic band where is the dark band called a band and also called any an isotropic an isotropic band all right guys this is the dark band dark band a band and an isotropic here is actin light band i band and isotropic so this term is clear this is the term was clear all right guys both the proteins are arranged as a rod like structure parallel to each other and also to longitudinally axis of myofibrils 
we saw this thing now that how they arrange they are rod like in structure they are rod like in structure look at here they arranged longitudinally they are arranged longitudinally this blue part is miocene and red part is actin clear guys now let's move further actin filament are thinner as compared to the miocene of course this filament actin filament is thinner and miocene is thicker in the center of each i band is the elastic fiber called z line which bisect it here a z line is found actin is connected with them we call it as a z line z line the thin filament are firmly attached to the z line yeah we can attach them thick filament in the a band are also held together in middle of band by thin fibrous membrane m line the a and i band are arranged alternately yeah actin myosin actin myosin actin myosin actin and here also myosin clear guys the portion of myofiber between two successive z line is considered as functional unit of contraction and called a sarcomere here to here this whole content between two z line we can call it as a sarcomere in a resting stage the edge of the thin filament on either side of a thick filament partially overlap free end and thick filament leaving the central part of the thick filament the central part of thick filament not overlapped by filament is called a zone he want to say that this is the zone that never overlap with acting at resting phase this is call it as a h zone when contraction is occur when contraction is occur the z line push the actin towards the center and h zone decrease if contraction then z line push actin filament inside and h zone decrease simple very simple this is the microscopic view look at here this is the a band light a band this is the dark myosin and this is the i band light uh, this is the dark band this is the z line and this very dark nothing no one overlap myosin this zone is as zone and one z line to another z line distance we call it as a sarcomere this whole contain we can call it as a sarcomere clear okay now let's move further all right structure of contractile protein i think we have to finish this video we have to finish this video the structure of contractile protein we will study in our next video so learn till here so if you like my lecture then please subscribe support and share thank you thank you for listening me keep smiling and keep revising and revising thank you so much